So some people have been asking about the the current status of the grow room, or as it was formerly known, the guest bedroom that I have now taken over and turned into my personal grow space. So I want to fill you in on the what I think thus far of that 300 watt LED light I bought, and just show you what I'm growing. Thought it might be kind of fun. Let's check it out. Alright, so the first thing you'll notice is that I apparently like the, the LED grow light because I bought a second one. And I bought a second one because I'm growing a whole lot of plants. <laughs> I'd also like to note how ghetto this looks with me. <laughs> That's actually a solar blanket from an emergency preparedness kit. And it just looks so like, well, you know. Okay, so what do I have growing on here? I think I stole that from somebody. Growing on. Okay, so nothing too exciting right now. So most of what this is are plant starts for this coming growing season. I have a relatively short season. It's cold here, so peppers and tomatoes need to be start, started indoors. So that's the vast majority of what you see here. And they both seem to really like the light. What else I have here is right in the back here. Let's see if I can get you a closer look. That, these, that one's not doing so well, but these are actually seedless um, Concord grapes. They're cuttings I took, and they seem to be doing okay. I'm really hoping one looks like it's dying, but the other one looks pretty good. And as you can see here, I tend to collect potatoes that have sprouted because I'm like, I don't want to just throw them away. I want to plant them. And I had a few that were really sprouted, and I threw them in some dirt underneath this light, and now all of a sudden, I've got these gigantic potato plants, which I'm going to have to transplant. All right, so about the peppers. So I've got a lot of peppers going on here. Most of what you see here is uh, lilac bell, and oh, I'm going to say it wrong, mostly because I don't know how to say it. Itiura pepper? I don't know, something like that. It's an orange bell pepper, basically, a small orange bell pepper. And over here, most of this is Jimmy Nardello, which is like my favorite sweet pepper of all time. Just love it, 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 love it. And I have like third generation seeds, so I'm very excited. What else is growing here is uh, pepperoncini and also some random hot peppers. Now I don't really use hot peppers myself. I'm thinking about drying them, some of them, and you know, making like, I don't know, spices, some kind of ground up spice thing. Because I do like to add a little heat to my cooking. I just don't eat hot peppers straight out though. It's just too much for me. More of a sweet pepper gal or a low heat. So I have some Thai chilies in here and habanero. Nothing too, too exciting. Now, what's really exciting are the tomatoes. Okay, so I've got three, I'm going doing three types of tomatoes. I'm not a beefsteak sort of person. I don't like big tomatoes. So I'm growing three varieties, two of which are blatantly cherry. So the ones you see right here, they're called pink bumblebee and they're a red or sort of like a pinkish cherry tomato that have like orange stripes on them. They're really, really gorgeous. I mean, I've never grown them. This is the first time I've grown them, so. But according to all the pictures on the internet, and according to the people who sold me the seeds, which is rareseeds.com, Baker Creek, they looked really cool. So I'm gonna give them a try. The other cherry variety that I have are blueberry cherries, cherry tomatoes, and they look Super awesome, I love blue tomatoes. The ones that when the sun hits them, they turn like really dark blue slash purple slash slash uh, black if, they're, if they have a lot of sun exposure. And apparently they're very, very productive and very tasty, so I'm growing those. And then last but not least, I have Indigo Rose, which is not really a cherry tomato. It's another purple blue variety. I guess it's technically a blue variety. And it's... It's just a great tomato. It's not a cherry tomato, but it is a small tomato. It stays relatively small, but I use them for everything. 
you know, I, I make soups and sauces and everything else out of them. And if I need a slicer to put on a sandwich, Indigo Rose is my go-to. Just feel like smaller tomatoes. One, in my cold, like short season, they're guaranteed to ripen in time. And they're just, they're just, you know, better for my situation. I also think they're tastier. Also for fun, I've started some garlic indoors. Now I know ideally you'll want to start, especially in this climate, you want to start your garlic in late fall. So it just sort of remains dormant and gets growing as soon as it starts to warm up a little. But I didn't do that because I didn't have a place to grow them. And I really, 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 really want garlic this year. So these this, these um, garlic cloves actually came from the grocery store. I bought a, just a bunch of them and I planted a few of them. <laughs> and I have two planters going. I'm trying to get them started. Now I know people tell me that garlic doesn't transplant well, and I understand that, and this could be a horrible, horrible failure, but failure doesn't scare me. If failure scared me, I wouldn't have started this YouTube channel. So anyway, um, I'm gonna give it a shot and see if I can transplant these, uh, this, these garlic plants and see if I can actually develop some bulbs by the end of next year. And that's pretty much it. So I don't have a lot of like super interesting stuff growing on in here. Um, just plant starts. I will probably be starting some other things. Maybe, I don't know. I'm kind of torn about whether or not I should start other things like melons and cucumbers like I have in the past. The problem with that, it just sort of fills up my, my grow room and I don't have that many lights and that much space. So I'll probably skip that this year and either just plant and seed outside or buy starts. Just save myself a little bit of hassle because man, you start if you start everything. I like to start things indoors, but just to get a jump on the season. But you do that, and it just your grow room just fills up completely, and it just becomes a hassle. So maybe not this year. Maybe in the future when I have more grow lights and even more dedicated space. So that's pretty much it. So that's an update on what I'm growing in here. Um, in the future, I'm going to be doing more hot peppers more chilies, but not for consumption necessarily. I'm looking to start uh, doing bonsai. Actually, we take hot peppers, hot chilies, and doing bonsai to the plants, because peppers, when you let them go for a real long time, they actually look like little bonsai trees, because the stem gets all witty. And I did this sort of in the past, but I didn't commit to the bonsai-ness of it. Um, bonsai chilies are called bonchies, by the way, so if I ever mention bonchies in the future, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about bonsai chilies and not some kind of weird, magical, fairy creatures of the forest. This is what Bonchi sounds like to me. But anyway, more interesting stuff in the future for the grow room, but just giving you an update. Thanks for stopping by, and if you like what you see, please subscribe, and thank you for joining me on this journey.